हेलो एंड नमस्ते दिस इज नीरज यर वंस अगेन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फाइनेंशियल मार्केट एनालिसिस ट्विस्ट बाय नीरज शाह सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई वांट टू डिस्कस द फाइनल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस इंडियन यूनियन बजट फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2023 व्हिच वाज प्रेजेंटेड यस्टरडे एंड बेसिकली इट्स इट्स इंपैक्ट ऑन द स्टॉक और द इंडस्ट्री कॉर्पोरेट्स एज सच विदाउट एनी शुगर कोटिंग विदाउट एनी बायस इट विल बी द कंप्लीट नेकेड analysis uh, so request all of you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and also please watch till video till the end and if you like this video you please put a like and share it with your maximum friends so that everybody can benefit so <coughs> let's start so yesterday as you know that india in, in india that budget was presented by the indian government uh, in the par parliament for the year 2023 so the final aspects is that you see i would i would not you everybody will hail as a good or bad or or fantastic excellent futuristic budget uh, that's all uh, uh, doesn't matter as far as uh, i am concerned that is my thinking or or as far as the corporate earnings because stock market is concerned about the corporate earnings in the near to medium term and uh, that is where we should be you know focusing on uh, rather than getting swayed by the you know good or bad of uh, it so first of all you know that i understood that uh, the steel stock yesterday was very up because uh, uh, you know they have uh, that scrap duty was extended on the import of scrap that import duty was uh, nil which was extended for another year uh but at the same time they kind of uh, removed this customs uh, and additional duty on uh, on this import of stainless steel and alloy bars and, and steel uh, metals uh, for the, for the steel industry so that uh, imports can be done at the cheaper so that uh, you know the pricing pressure is very high so let me clarify this is that uh, the, you know the stocks uh, the corporate uh, steel companies earnings uh, and uh, are not uh, dependent on uh, uh, on this and also the union budget you know that very much uh, emphasis about the infrastructure development and all the expenses or the capex uh, on the infrastructures and and different infrastructure uh, roads uh, pipelines uh, water uh, sewage water supply systems and all these things so this market uh, rose as if you know it's uh, all these uh, stocks are going to uh, do very well because of this demand so let me clarify is that uh, first of all the steel and metals particularly the the demand is 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 not the issue because it is about the pricing and the prices it's uh, con it's, it's connected to the global prices uh, in the commodity in general so there is nothing to do with you know that demand will go up then prices will go up so it is you know it's a very global trend so that way that earnings of the corporates of the particularly the metal industries are connected to the global prices and which will remain uh, uh, which are not going to go up but they will remain firm as i had, you know in in my off repeated uh, videos in last one year i have even even recently also that uh, you can uh, uh, bet on those uh, but uh, that pricing uh, the peak pricing is off the table means it's it's already done it's not going to in the steel uh, and i know we are not going to see the that price uh, again in in the near term so that's where you know you should not be swayed by what is this you know infrastructure infrastructure development as if you remember in 2020 we had uh, when we started this channel we had come out and uh, told that because of this uh, pandemic and all this everything is closed situation uh, this uh, the way out for the economy world over i mean all the countries is that in, uh, is that the government spending or the infrastructure development because consumers can't Uh, they they don't have disposable income and the job losses it's everything is closed and so it will be the driven by the uh, the the economy will be driven by the infrastructure and that is proven right because again for the another consecutive second year uh, it has been emphasis is given on that government will be spending much more money uh, on this infrastructure only uh, what does it prove it proves that uh, that consumption is still not yet picked up the demand is still not uh, so so high or so strong 
basically all these prices or all this is being uh, driven by the supply disruptions because of the covid somewhere lockdown partial lockdown shipping disruptions even now in you know this europe is uh, go, is opened up uh, then usa the situation is little deteriorating then the china is again kind of a close lockdown and uh, so also what is happening is that you should not get swayed by uh, that uh, this is you know, demand is going to drive the corporates uh, earning it's uh, particularly this metal uh, mining stocks it's not so that is one thing uh, one myth i wanted to bust uh, another is what only is can this do it can it can help this uh, with this budget of this infrastructure spending it can it can help is uh, this infrastructure companies and uh, you know or oh, particularly the cement companies it can uh, it can uh, be uh, good for this because cement is a is not a global commodity it is a localized commodity always you know the pricing is determined by the local supply demand situation so that is where you can see that uh, with all so much of emphasis and the government spending on the infrastructure and ports and roads and and gati shakti that kind of a yojana uh, it will be the cement companies so in that also you have to then look into the you know is specific you know that bottom up approach one has to do but overall that cement uh, should uh, you know the demand side situation should do well uh, uh, so that is where the cement prices uh, you can see that it can remain firm and it can do another uh, one big aspect also was that that as there was no you know at least no any change or reduction in the tax or any kind of deduction personal income tax so the consumption theory as i think even uh, government has understood that it's not going to come back very easily uh, because of this job losses and uh, on the middle level uh, and so many industries like tourism hospitality hotels they are really into this uh, big trouble msmes also so many millions of jobs have lost and uh, or even if not lost but not enough work or not enough uh, this uh, demand and uh, so much of uh, debt has uh, gone into even surviving for this two years that uh, you can't expect them to revive it immediately so that is where the consumption story is not uh, is 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 not going to be there that's what i think government has understood and uh, that's why this all this emphasis on infrastructure development and uh, uh spending on infrastructure to boost the uh, the the basically the economy uh, so this is what uh, and uh, um, so apart from this uh, you know there is nothing i mean it's if the corporate uh, uh, taxes are not tweaked uh, so uh, there is no going to be the earnings uh, accretive kind of a you know where you can say that the budget can uh, can result into the into the higher earnings uh, by say some tax reduction or by by something uh, so i i don't think so that you know that uh, what you see in euphoria in the market uh, can sustain for long because all what all budget can is doing is that it is only uh, making that uh, as we know that fiscal deficit is they have increased the target uh, uh that that uh, fiscal deficit any case uh, so it is also going to pressure the rupee in a way and interest is going to be a big channel interest uh, inflation sorry inflation is going to be a big challenge so sooner or later if uh, you know central banks uh, or reserve bank of india doesn't uh, increase the interest rate so indirectly it can pressure the rupee and that way also uh, you and, and and the government bond yields can go up and that way also uh, one will be uh, you know uh, will be indirectly forced to spend more and as i told you that uh, this uh, this year is going to be uh, at least for the first half you will see the challenges in terms of this uh, um, say like russia ukraine crisis happened and middle east iran israel also uh, you know and and this saudi houthi iran and uae so all this middle east uh, oil bearing uh, zone uh, and russia ukraine this is oil and gas energy uh, energy uh, zone is uh, is is under kind of a strife so this is going to continue and this is where you will see that prices of energy will be on the boil okay all will be on fire you can say so the theme for this year continues to be that uh, energy stocks will uh, continue to do well and the more the emphasis on uh, on the green 
uh, you know, that there will be more prices of this uh, fossil fuels go up. Uh, because uh, uh, this is all uh, talk in the near term, it's not going to. Yes, definitely in next 5 to 10 years, we will see a big change in technology in solar and in battery storage and batteries. But uh, in the near term, what we say that next, uh, because we look at the next one or two years, right? So that is what uh, you, you price in the market. So it's not going to, so this is energy is going to be the burning issue. And uh, that is where this uh, even, uh, the, 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 you know, this, uh, of all the prices of uh, this energy goes up, then definitely all the processing company prices means all the everything product prices will definitely be on the upside. How you can say the steel will require more energy, aluminium will require uh, 15,000 uh, uh, units or 15,000 kilowatts per ton of energy, you know, per ton of. So you can, uh, and coal prices has been an all time high. It, so is the gas prices, so is the uh, uh, crude oil prices are, you know, again coming back to very high, uh, kind of a near, 10-year uh, high prices. So, when the input cost, because power is one of the major input uh, costs for manufacturing and so how one can think that, you know, this is, uh, the, uh, that earnings are going to, because the prices, if stabilized, the output or the product prices, which is at the present currently, you are not going to see this uh, earnings accretive. It's in fact you may see the margin uh, depression uh, in most of the cases in most of the industry across the industry. You will see the margin because of the high energy prices, uh, and also because of this uh, indirectly increasing uh, yield, uh, bond yields, and uh, in interest rate uh, inflationary pressure. Uh, you will see that uh, even interest interest cost of the companies corporates will go up. So net net what you will see is that the kind of growth which we had seen in last year we are not going to see and that is where also the, the compression in the valuation can happen uh, like PE or uh, things. So as you will move forwards into this year, into this coming year FY23, uh, you will see that uh, the margin pressure will be built into this. Uh, earnings will be coming down and so you will see that multiples will be coming down and the stocks will will come down so it's a, it's a, it's a just a question of you know uh, you have to just wait for a few few uh, say one uh, around a month or two to understand how it and also because right now full of asia is under kind of a holiday because uh, southeast asia because of the chinese lunar new year so this february is going to be a lull month uh, not much uh, participation, not much trading, and that is where when the, on the thin volumes and the thin trading, you can see that all this, uh, if the stocks goes up, uh, it's it's not the indicative of the real picture. Uh, that's what I just wanted to, you know, in a brief nutshell, I wanted to uh, put forth my views and uh, about this particularly, you know, budget and its impact on the stocks and the corporate earnings. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, and uh, if you like, you please put a like and share it with your maximum friend. And uh, we'll see once again next week with some kind of a unique idea and unique concept. Uh, till that time, ciao from Neeraj from Moscow and love you all. See you.